Welcome back, dear viewers. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey into the life, legacy, and influence of one of history's most influential figures, Marcus Tullius Cicero. From his remarkable oratory skills to his political achievements, Cicero's impact on ancient Rome and beyond is undeniable. Join us as we delve into the world of Cicero and explore the multifaceted aspects of his life. Let's get started. Early Life and Education Marcus Tullius Cicero was born on January 3rd, 106 BC in the small town of Arpinum, located about 70 miles southeast of Rome. Despite being born into a non-aristocratic family, Cicero's father ensured he received a proper education in Rome, where he studied philosophy, rhetoric, and literature. Cicero's education played a crucial role in shaping his future as a renowned orator and statesman. He studied under the guidance of some of the greatest teachers of his time, including Greek philosophers and rhetoricians. Cicero's passion for oratory and his dedication to honing his skills earned him recognition among his peers. His exceptional ability to sway the minds and hearts of the audience through persuasive speeches laid the foundation for his illustrious career. Rise to Prominence As a young lawyer, Cicero quickly gained a reputation for his eloquence and integrity in the Roman courts. His ability to present compelling arguments and defend his clients' interests earned him widespread acclaim and numerous victories. Cicero's success as a lawyer propelled him into the political arena. Cicero's political career took off when he was elected as quester, a financial officer, in Sicily. His integrity and efficiency in handling public finances earned him great respect. Later, he served as an aedile and praetor, climbing the ladder of Roman political hierarchy. Cicero's pinnacle achievement came in 63 BC when he became the consul, the highest office in the Roman Republic. During his consulship, Cicero successfully thwarted a conspiracy known as the Catalan Conspiracy, which aimed to overthrow the Republic. His efforts to preserve the Roman state earned him immense popularity among the people. Philosophy and literary contributions. Beyond his political endeavors, Cicero was deeply immersed in philosophy and literature. He studied and embraced the teachings of various philosophical schools, including Stoicism, Epicureanism, and academic skepticism. Cicero's philosophical works, such as On Duties and On the Nature of the Gods, showcased his deep understanding of ethical principles and his ability to apply them to practical situations. His writings greatly influenced the intellectual landscape of the time. Cicero was also an avid writer of letters, which provide invaluable insights into the political, social, and cultural aspects of ancient Rome. His correspondences with friends and political allies have survived the test of time, offering a window into the events and thoughts of the era. Cicero's downfall and legacy Unfortunately, Cicero's rise to prominence also brought him enemies, particularly among powerful figures like Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. In 58 BC, he exposed the corrupt practices of Publius Clodius Pulcher, a prominent politician, leading to a bitter rivalry between the two. Ultimately, Cicero's allegiance to the Republic and his outspoken nature made him a target for his political adversaries. In 43 BC, following the assassination of Julius Caesar, Cicero was declared an enemy of the state by the Second Triumvirate, which consisted of Mark Antony, Octavian, later known as Augustus, and Lepidus. Forced into exile, Cicero sought refuge in Greece. During this period, he continued to write and reflect on the political situation in Rome. However, his absence from the political scene left a void, and his influence began to wane. Tragically, in 43 BC, Cicero's enemies caught up with him. They ordered his execution, and at the age of 63, Cicero met his untimely demise. His head and hands were displayed in the Roman Forum, symbolizing the victory of his adversaries over the ideals of free speech and democracy. Despite his tragic end, Cicero's legacy endured, and his impact on Western civilization cannot be overstated. Cicero's right writings on political philosophy, rhetoric, and ethics continued to be studied and admired long after his death. His works influenced prominent figures such as St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, and Enlightenment thinkers like John Locke and Montesquieu. Cicero's emphasis on the importance of dialogue, the rule of law, and the ideal of the statesman as a servant of the people resonated throughout history. His ideas became cornerstones of democratic governance and the development of constitutional systems. Furthermore, Cicero's rhetorical techniques and persuasive strategies continue to be studied in modern education systems. His speeches and rhetorical principles serve as a guide for aspiring orators, lawyers, 
and public speakers. Cicero's influence extends beyond the realm of politics and rhetoric. His writings on virtue, duty, and moral principles remain relevant today. They offer valuable insights into the complexities of human nature and the ethical dilemmas we face in society. Additionally, Cicero's letters provide a vivid snapshot of life in ancient Rome, offering historians and scholars invaluable first-hand accounts of the social and political dynamics of the time. In conclusion, Cicero's impact on ancient Rome and the world at large cannot be overstated. As a skilled orator, influential politician, and prolific writer, he left an indelible mark on history. His commitment to justice, the power of speech, and the pursuit of virtue continues to inspire generations. Join us in celebrating the life, legacy, and influence of Marcus Tullius Cicero, a true icon of the Roman Republic and a timeless symbol of eloquence and wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Cicero. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more historical insights. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating tapestry of human history. Goodbye.